Number 18. A diver on a diving board is undergoing simple harmonic motion. Her mass is 55 kilograms and the period of her motion is 0.8 seconds. The next diver is male, whose period of simple harmonic oscillation is 1.05 seconds. What is his mass if the mass of the board is negligible? So basically all they're telling us is three things. Simple harmonic motion, mass, and period. So from those, from that piece of information, basically the only thing I can really use here is this formula over here that tells me the period will be equal to 2 pi times the square root of the mass of the object that's oscillating divided by the spring constant or the force constant of the spring. So what we need to do here is we have to realize that we have two cases, right? We have a woman doing, right, diving, um, and then we have a man doing the diving, but they're both diving from the same board, right? Is that correct? So what in this formula must be the same between the two people? I think you said it. The spring constant, right? That's the same. So what that means is that let's say I call this the period of the woman and then the mass of the woman. I wouldn't really say that this would be the spring constant of the woman because that kind of just, I'm just going to leave it as the spring constant of the, of the spring, the diving board, right? And if I had another formula here, this is the period of the man. That's going to be 2 pi times then the square root of the mass of the man divided by k, I realize now that the, that the way I can connect these two separate formulas is through k because they're both the same. So what do I have to do? I have to solve them for k, and then I can basically set them equal to one another. All right? So why don't we do that for one, and then we could just copy it for the other. So let's solve this for k. First thing is I got to get rid of the 2 pi. So divide that on out from both sides. So we're going to find this, that the period of the woman will be divided by 2 pi, and that will equal then the square root of the mass of the woman divided by the spring constant. I gotta get rid of the square root, so why don't we square both sides, all right? So now we realize we're going to get the period of the woman divided by 2 pi, that whole thing squared, will equal then the mass of the woman divided by the spring constant of the diving board. And now solve this thing for k, all right? So basically what I can do is just bring k out of the denominator like that and bring this whole mumbo jumbo into the denominator over there. Basically, that's a cross multiplication. So here's your formula. All right, this is it. It's going to then be k is equal to the mass of the woman divided then by the square root of uh, period of the woman divided by then 2 pi, that whole thing squared. So now I know that this is the formula for k. Now, basically, they're both going to be the same, right? I mean, except for the subscripts. So what I can do is I can basically now set this for the woman equal to the uh, sister equation, so to speak, of the man, right? So that's going to be the mass of the woman divided then all by, uh, divided by, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm a little distracted right now. This will be the uh, period of the woman divided by then 2 pi, that whole thing squared. That will equal now the mass of the man, all divided by then the period of the man divided by 2 pi, divided by 2 pi, that whole thing squared, okay? What we can also realize is that these 2 pi's are going to cancel. They're both squared and whatnot, so we can literally just cancel them as well. They're going to just, that's just noise at the moment, so just get rid of them, all right? So we have a simple relationship here, that the mass of the woman divided by the period of the woman squared will be equal to the mass of the man divided by the period of the man squared. And what are we after? We're after the mass of the man. So solve this equation for now the mass of the man here. Isn't this fun? So the mass of the man now will be, the mass of the man is simply going to be equal to the mass of the woman multiplied by the period of the man squared divided by the period of the woman squared. And there you go. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Now all we got to do is just plug in the values. So I'm going to do it on the left-hand side. All right. So the mass of the man will be simply equal to the mass of the woman, which they told us was 55 kilograms, the period of the man squared, which they told us was 1.05, that whole thing squared, divided by then the period of the woman, which was 0 0.8 squared. And this will be the mass of the man. So simply just plug that on into the calculator. So there's going to be 55 times 1.05 squared divided by 0.8 squared. Okay, so 94, so 94.7 kilograms. 
right? Looks like three sig figs, I guess. So that is that is the man's mass. Voila. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this video helps. If it did, please help us out by subscribing. We appreciate it so very much. And uh, if you can, tell your friends too. That's even better. Thank you, guys.